everybody, it's that time again, time for Daryl's Monday Market Report. It's really late in the day, been in a class all day. So before I get into the numbers, as always, I like to give some context. So I did a little short on YouTube today about there being more properties decreased than hit the market today. One day last week was almost double. So it's interesting times. That doesn't mean that you're not gonna get above market offers. Also, pricing depends very specifically on the, the price point of the home that you're in because I'm working with some buyers in a lower price point and there's still multiple offers over list. As you move up the scale, I got someone in a home and got them a significant amount off it after it had already been reduced to 100 grand and a higher price point. But again, that just depends on the neighborhood. So sellers, listen to your agent. Keep in mind, rates did go up. They've settled down, but uh, you're, you're gonna see when we hit go through the numbers today, this is seasonal, the, the drops, but generally speaking, still high demand, 365 people a day moving here, so it's still a great time to sell. So this week in all of Collin County, from homes being new to the market to having been sold, we're at 957. That's down 298 from last week. School started where I live today. Some started a week before when I was down in the Park Cities today. Uh, I noticed that they don't start till the 21st. So, but school, back to school time, things typically slow. Once everybody's got a contract on a home for sale or for lease and they've secured a spot in the school. So just keep that in mind. Still a great time to sell though. So this week had 318 new properties at the market. I had a price change in the last seven days in Collin County. Had 258 that went under contract, 116 that went pending and 265 that sold. In Allen, we had 29 hit the market, 24 went under contract, five went pending and 25 that sold. So you can see the numbers hitting the market still, we're behind the curve on inventory, even though we've just about doubled, went from about a month to two months, a little more. So we're getting closer to a balanced market. Balanced market means there's six months of inventory. We're not there yet. I really hope to see it there. It's healthier for the market long-term. I'm glad to see we're not as getting many offers over list price as we had been. It's really tough if you're, if you're a first time home buyer unless you're looking fairly far out. Lucas this week, two new properties hit the market at a price change with two that went under contract, nothing went pending and three that sold. Parker, only one new property at the market this week or at a price change, nothing went under contract or pending with three sold. So if you're thinking of selling there, probably a good week to do so. Also Fairview, nothing new to the market eight went under contract, nothing went pending, and four that sold. So a great time to put a home on the market in Fairview if you're thinking of selling. Now let's go into the top three markets as I do every week. McKinney's number one with homes being new to the market having been sold at 188. Plano's right behind at 185. And Frisco, number three at 147. So Plano, we had 62 new properties hit the market this week, or had a price change, 55 went under contract, 20 that went pending, and 48 that sold. McKinney, 62 new properties hit the market, or had a price change, we had 69 go under contract, 17 that went pending, and 50 that sold. Frisco, 39 new properties hit the market, or had a price change, we had 46 go under contract, 18 that went pending, and 49, or yeah, 44 that sold, sorry. Lavon, look at this. Nine new properties hit the market this week or had a price change. Lots of new construction there, though, too. New neighborhoods. One went under contract, three that went pending, and four that sold. I do want to touch on the price decreases. As I mentioned, a lot of that is in new construction because builders are kind of getting their head handed to them since buyers can't afford what they used to be able to. Lumber prices have come down some, so that's helping. I'm, I'm glad to see that happen. New construction really needed to come down in price, and I'm happy to see that. Melissa, 
Another new construction area, 13 new properties hit the market at a price change. We had eight that went under contract, two that went pending, and eight that sold. Wiley, tw always, on, always on fire, wide awake Wiley, every week, I'm amazed. 23 new properties hit the market this week or at a price change with 20 go under contract, 15 that went pending, and 14 that sold. So if you're thinking of selling in Wiley, definitely a solid place to put a home on the market. Princeton, lots of new construction there. 21 new properties at the market this week or at a price change, 10 went under contract, 12 went pending, and 11 that sold. Farmersville had seven properties hit the market this week there, or had a price change, four went under contract, two that went pending, and four that sold. Anna had 21 new properties gone under market this week or at a price change. We had six that went under contract, eight that went pending, and look at this, 24 that sold. Van Alstine, nine new properties hit the market this week or at a price change. Had eight go under contract, four that went pending, and four that sold. And I'm going to try and get back to doing once monthly updates about maintenance or other things that I think are relevant. Hope you're having a good one. If you have any questions about what's going on in your market, your neighborhood, feel free to reach out to me. Have a great one. Looks like the weather is going to start cooling down at least a little, maybe this weekend and some next week. Hope you're enjoying it. Talk to you later. See you next week.